Welcome. Here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. Kyiv spent 700 hours under air raid alert in 2022. The Ukrainian capital spent hundreds of hours under air raid sirens in 2022, the head of the city's military administration has reported. Serhii Popko said sirens had sounded for some 700 hours equal to 29 days. He described it as the scariest year in the city's history as the capital of independent Ukraine. Mr. Popko said Kiev was hit by 52 airstrikes throughout the year. These destroyed around 600 buildings, killed 120 civilians and wounded 495. Russia grants tax amnesty to encourage troops fighting in Ukraine. Russian authorities have announced that soldiers and state employees deployed to fight in Ukraine will be exempt from income tax, Moscow's latest effort to encourage support for a military campaign against Kiev that has suffered multiple setbacks and defeats. The new tax measure concerns all Russian troops fighting in the four Ukrainian territories Moscow has declared as its own, Donetsk, Luhansk, Kherson and Zaporizhia, although it does not completely control the four regions. The Moscow Times reported that Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a decree on Thursday removing requirements for government officials to disclose their income tax returns for the duration of Russia's war in Ukraine. And Putin to Xi, Russia seeks to strengthen military ties with China. The US has expressed concern over Beijing's alignment with Moscow amid the ongoing invasion of Ukraine. Russia's ties with China are the best in history, President Vladimir Putin told his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping, as he said Moscow would seek to strengthen military cooperation with Beijing. The two leaders spoke via video link on Friday, and Putin said he was expecting Xi to make a state visit to Moscow in 2023. If it were to take place, it would be a public show of solidarity by Beijing amid Moscow's flailing military campaign in Ukraine. The U.S. State Department on Friday expressed concern over China's alignment with Russia. Beijing claims to be neutral, but its behavior makes clear it is still investing in close ties to Russia, a spokesperson said, adding Washington was monitoring Beijing's activity closely. Yeah.